asking that. I want to read to you from the indictment, quote, the classified documents Trump stored in his boxes include information regarding defense weapons capabilities of both United States and foreign countries, United States nuclear programs, potential vulnerabilities of the United States and its allies to military attack, and plans for possible retaliation in response to a foreign attack. I mean, it seems to me, listening to Jack Smith and having read this indictment, that the emphasis here is on America's national security. So talk to me based on that section of the indictment about the impact this could have on intelligence operations here in the U.S. and also yeah. our relations abroad. Uh, this is going to be costly uh, for the measurable and the imme immeasurable. Uh, the measurable, of course, is, you know, any planning or, or systems we had in place that related to those documents that may have been compromised, uh, that they may have to retool, repurpose, or replace. And, of course, the immeasurable, any sources that the United States may have recruited that could have been, you know, had their identities or information about themselves in those documents, he could have put them at risk. Mar-a-Lago was essentially a college uh, library reading room uh, where uh, people who were in Donald Trump's presence when he had the documents in his presence felt very comfortable just sharing this with people. And who knows, you know, who else these documents were shared with, you know, where they don't have enough evidence to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law, but they do believe that it may have compromised national security information. Given the seriousness uh, of what is being alleged here, here's what Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, said earlier today. Take a listen. He should, in my opinion, should be treated no different than anyone else. In fact, if he was treated the same as everyone else, this case would have been launched a long time ago. He would have already been indicted, um, you know, a long, long time ago, 18 months ago, and he would have already been convicted uh, a long time ago. Unfortunately, he's not the same as everyone, as a former president of the United States. Congressman, as a former prosecutor, in what other ways might this case proceed differently than if Trump was not a former president? Uh, well, so far, it's clear that this prosecution team is playing on his side of the field. They're not giving him any favors. They're not treating him any differently or better or worse. Uh, and that's in contrast to past prosecutors, I believe. Uh, however, Donald Trump is still afforded equal protection under the Constitution and, and due process under the law by the judicial system. For his own party, it blows my mind that Kevin McCarthy, who has this dirty deal with Trump, where Trump delivered the votes to make McCarthy speaker, is still, even with what's alleged uh, in the indictment, willing to go all in on the criming for Trump. Uh, that's going to be to their peril. I think uh, most Americans are, you know, anti possessing classified information and, and showing it to your friends to put our troops at risk. Uh, and so that's why I think, you know, as Democrats, we need to remind uh, the voters of that uh, when we go to the polls. Well